Question 13, ABC is a triangle. Calculate the size of angle BAC. So we're trying to find BAC, which is this angle over here. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. The first thing that I can see here is I've got opposite pairs of information. I've got this side and I've got this angle and I've got this side, but I don't have this angle. So that means I could use my sine rule. Because I'm trying to find this angle, I'm going to put my angles on the top. So sine of A over A is equal to sine of B over B. So sine of A, sine of 70 over the side opposite to it, which is 18, is equal to sine of B. This is the sine of B. We're trying to find that one. So sine X over the side opposite to it, which is 15. We just need to rearrange this. So on the right hand side, it's been divided by 15. So I'm going to multiply by 15. So 15 sine 70 over 18 is equal to I've got sine of x left and I want to move this sine over to the other side. So I've got the inverse sine on this side and all of that will be in brackets is equal to x. Just need to type all of this in and I get my value for my angle. So the inverse sine and then I need my fraction button 15 sine 70 over 18. That's 51.543. So x is 51.5432. I want to find out this angle. So I need to use my angles in a triangle fact. All of these will add up to 180. So I just need to do 180, take away 70, take away my previous answer. That will give me the angle that I'm trying to find. So 180 minus 70 minus my previous answer, which is 58.4568. I want to round it to one decimal place, so I'm going to look after my decimal point. This 5 is my decider, and that's telling me that I need to round up to 58.5. It's an angle, so it's going to be in degrees, and that's to one decimal place. 